songs. <laughs> I'm not safe for work, but kind of safe for, for here, I think. Yeah. Um, so the, there's a, a local author in Seattle named Ellen Forney. Has anybody ever heard of her? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, cool. So she she writes the um, the kinky personal ads. Like she does, she illustrates. <laughs> she, <laughs> so you know Ellen Forney, huh? <laughs> Forney rhymes with... Anyway... Um, <laughs> So she picks a kinky ad of the week and then she illustrates it, right? So, so she's compiled each of these illustrations into a book called Lust. And that was the, that was the book that this song is based on. And the ad I happen to pick, um, so I'm a, I'm a big Star Wars fan. I tried through the 80s and like, you know, saw Return of the Jedi in the theater, all that stuff. Yeah, you have no idea. <laughs> and uh, so the ad was, um, you write, my wife said I, sh I should have brought the ad so I could read it, but anyway, it was an illustration of Chewbacca, and it was basically the, the alias of the person that posted the ad was called Fuzzy Does It, and they were looking for somebody to uh, wear a costume in public for public whatever, right? So the idea is like these two people dressed in animal suits would just meet up in public and do whatever it is they do, right? <laughs> So um, anyway, that's that's the quote. That's the um, that's the book. <laughs> At least that's my ad. Anyway. All right. So this uh, this song is like me trying to decide to respond to the ad and wondering what do I wear because it was signed "Animal Not Important." Animal not important. You're going to go through this whole elaborate scheme of like soliciting somebody to pick an animal suit, meet you in public for public sex. And then you're like, ah, whatever, if you want to go as a dog, I don't care. It doesn't make any sense. Anyway, so the song is called Animal Not Important. Sorry, I keep moving your mood. Animal Not Important? Are they just being coy? Do they really mean what they say? Is this a test? If it is, I'll do my very best, cause that's how I operate. Oyster, how to be bold but not scare them away. How do you choose a suit that'll suit you to set yourself up for success? Lots to consider, then I'm betting to allow for heavy petting. I'll need something with easy access. A lion might be kind of boring, and a bunny might be too passe. So, Fuzzy does it. Yeah, boy, it's driving me crazy. 
If I play chicken, we'll be cursed to argue over who came first. Perhaps a horny toad would help reduce your load. Or I could find a soup and buckskin. And there's always Teddy Ruxpin. For an entendre that's not wussy, I could show up as a cat. <laughs> Is gorilla like, oh my god, so vanilla, would you prefer the style of the dog? And an emu or a dodo, definitely not the Geico gecko. I'm to lure you back to my pad as a frog. I could hang out like a horse, you'd show me yours first though, of course. If we're being on the ball, a peacock really isn't small. But if I'm really in a jam, I could be a bearded clam. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, there's too many options, hot damn! A panda might get kind of bulky, and a unicorn's a tad cliche. I mean, come on, already. So animal not important, I just gotta ask, do you really mean what you say? like to meet you so 